guys. Okay, so we're starting the vlog. Can you just put it down? <laughs> just let, yeah, because I can see my hair. We're starting the vlog a little bit differently today because unfortunately our um, our memory card was corrupt and I needed to switch it out with a different one and everything that I filmed before I switched it out, which is basically me just like introducing what we're gonna do on the vlog this week and uh, doing my makeup and chit chatting. Um, yeah, that just, it was corrupt and there's no footage of that. This is gonna look a little bit different than the rest of the vlog cause this is in real time. Like John was just editing it. John's just, John's sitting here. Oh, also, and if you are confused on what I'm talking about in the next clip with my hair, I did a heatless curling rod for the fifth time and every time it comes out bad and yeah, it just did not come out good, but I just ordered a new rod. So we're gonna try it again. I hope that you guys enjoy the vlog. I'm not gonna lie. I just watched it and this is like one of my favorite vlogs. It's not anything like super crazy, but it was just me hanging out with my friends and going to a few events and just like laughing and giggling and like being a girl. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys in a second. finished result. I just bronzed my chest a lot and kind of like my shoulders and stuff so it would match with my face. And then I need to show you guys my hair and then I have to leave because I'm already five minutes behind, but I don't think it's like that serious. But here's the hair. I judged it so it actually does not look terrible. Like when I woke up this morning, I will show you a photo of what it looked like. This is the back. I don't know what the back looks like. But I think I might give it one more shot. Like this right here is kind of weird. Like if we take that out, what if we did? I don't know. I don't have time to fix it. I think I'm just gonna throw it up like this. In like a high pony. And that looks cute, but I'll deal with that when I get there. L space, tennis dress. I don't know if you can see. Um, it has shorts underneath, it's so cute. I'm bringing a little jacket because it is kind of cold. I just locked up the house and everything, got all my sunglasses, and then I'm wearing my Sambas. And now let's go. Guys, this is not even close to where I thought this was. I thought this was in the heart of Beverly Hills. We are in the hills. It just took me like 45 minutes to get here. I made a wrong turn, all that stuff, but we're here now. See, wow, these houses are insane. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Guys, I don't know if you could just see that. There's a purse behind me, so I feel a little bit weird, but. Oh my God, look at this one. You know you're in Beverly Hills in a gated community when you don't know where the tennis club is because all of these houses legitimately look like they could be a country club. Okay. driving back from the event and I'm having anxiety and I can't really pinpoint it. I mean I can pinpoint it a little bit actually I don't really feel like talking about it it's nothing like serious by the way it's just something that I have anxiety like when I leave the house and I hate it I didn't even have coffee today I did have a little bit of a celsius though but just wanted to 
check in with you guys and let you guys know. I just have a hard time leaving my house lately. Like I've just, the traffic gives me anxiety. Driving gives me a little bit of anxiety. Waze is, I feel like Waze just like fucks you. Like yeah, it'll save you a minute, but I have gone the weirdest way, the weirdest way ever. And I still have 25 minutes. I've probably been, been in the car for, I don't know, 45 minutes. Good morning, guys. Actually, it's not morning. It's around 2 p.m. I just did my makeup. I have another event to go to today, but I'm trying to salvage my hair. Today, I was gonna do some hair oiling because I got some stuff on Amazon that Michelle recommended. It's like a little like hair oil comb and a few other things because I'm trying to take really good care of my hair since it is so blonde right now. I bleached it a lot, which means that it needs some TLC. But it's really hard to salvage this hair yesterday or today because yesterday when I took out the heatless curls, while the back was kind of eating, I'm not gonna lie, like the back looked good, the front was not good. And I put it on TikTok and people were saying, oh, you should just wear it pushed back in a headband. And I should have done that, but I did not. I just kind of wore it up in a ponytail. And I didn't wash my hair yesterday, which I wanted to, and I didn't get around to it. So today I have another event and it's not, it's really, it's really not salvageable. So I just wanna show you what I'm working with right now. John has been helping me kind of with my taxes all morning. This is what we're working with, guys. And also John went to Trader Joe's and got some flowers. He's been making some bouquets, which is really sweet. Oh, also, let me show you guys. This is like kind of gross, so if you're like grossed out easily. We did the nose patches yesterday, and this one was mine. You can't really, like mine didn't have that much on it because I'm not gonna lie, my skin has been really, really good. But John's, I don't know if you guys can see. I'll insert a picture if I can remember, but his entire thing was white because he just has really oily skin and bigger pores on his nose. Crazy. Those things work very well. And we slept in them and they weren't like hard to sleep in or anything like that, but that's what we did last night. But I was gonna say that this area, my makeup went on really, really well. This area right here tends to just get a little, I don't even know if the word is cakey. It just kind of separates a little bit like around my nose and it wasn't doing that today. So have I found a hack? I'm not sure. So the event today is for Summer Fridays, which I'm very excited. I love Summer Fridays, but I believe that they have not a strict dress code, but a, a light dress code. And it is, it says party wear in dreamy neutral cream, dusty pink mauve. <laughs> I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be real. I do not have one singular dusty pink or mauve outfit. I have this. This is like a pant set. This is a brown patent like faux leather pants set. And then I could probably wear a blazer on top maybe. We're gonna pull that. So I put the pants on and then the top that this these pants go with, it's too cold for that. It's a little tank top and I was not about to wear that. Also, I'm not self tan and you guys know how I feel about being you look self-tanned because you're in all brown. What? You look self-tanned because you're in all brown. Yeah, and my makeup.
But so I had this little mock neck turtleneck that I thought would go really well and give like a monochromatic look. But I feel weird without wearing a belt to break these up a little bit, but I don't have a belt to wear. The only belts I have are like a very, very light brown and it's not, it's just not the vibe or black belts. And also I don't feel like that. They're more the vibe and style, but not in color. And so now I'm asking John if he thinks that I should wear a white shirt and then I could probably wear the black belt. What did I say? And he said to ask Delaney, he said, ask Delar. And I said, Sigourney Weaver. And now, and now we're going to call Delaney Sigourney Weaver from now on. <laughs> um, yeah, so I don't know guys. And then I want to also wear a camel long kind of pea coat, but I think I actually gave that away. So yeah. She has a brown belt. A skinny, shiny brown belt. Okay. Okay, guys. This is legitimately how I'm rolling up to Michelle's right now. Curler <laughs> in my hair and all. Let's go. The two. Hi. We ways took us such a weird way. Oh, I was supposed to turn there. <laughs> Great. Where? Uh, right there. Remember how I got into this this section? Um, I think you could still get over. Mm, just put your blinky on. Mm, I mean, this one's just two minutes. Oh, okay. Got, like slower. Okay. Um, but it's your bladder. Yeah, I guys, I have to pee, and I'm really trusting the process with this roller. We've been in the car for probably like maybe 30 minutes. Usually, I only put <laughs> these in for like 10, so we'll see. But. Chateau Marmont. Have you ever been there? Yeah. I feel like I've been there one time. I went to like the bar there. Mm -hmm. And my friend and I, this was when I was in college. It was on spring break. My friend and I went there and these like guys approached us. Yeah. And we were like, okay, like, um, oh, oh. and we were like, all right, cool. And they were like, and um, we were talking to them. Yeah. And they said, hey, do you want to go to the strip club? And we were like, okay, like, uh, that's fine. We'll go to the strip club. They pull up, he pull, he gives the person his yeah. valet key, pulls up in this Aston Martin. First of all, like, I don't like, I don't know. I've never been in an Aston Martin, anything like that. We go to the strip club, he buys me a, a, a private lap dance with this girl. Her, her skin was like dolphin skin, like your skin. That was her skin. And she and I felt so uncomfortable because I was like, what Like, is what do you do while someone's giving you a lap dance? In a private room on a bed. <gasps> you don't have to do that. I, yeah, I literally said, you don't have to do that. And he was like, no, like, this is for you, baby girl. And I was like, um, I was like, no, 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 like, I'd rather you, like, I was trying to, like, spin it yeah, in yeah. a way of, like, no, like, I'm more turned on if you get it, like, I would rather, and then, and then, I don't remember what happened, but I'm pretty sure we, like, called an Uber, and I got the fuck out of there, but I was uncomfy, I was really uncomfortable, yeah, that's <laughs> horrific, yeah, and he then was what? in there watching, no. um, and then I, we, I don't know, but he, he I would have just been like, I gotta go, well, I, well, he got the lap dance and then I think I like, I was like, okay. And then I got out of there and then I told my friend that I would like to leave. And we got in, like, we got in an Uber. An Uber, er, and no, we had, I'm pretty sure we had to like call. Mama. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, we were there and that's where we met them. Okay, or that's where, okay. that's where they, they okay. saw us. And then they had their Aston Martin pull around and I'm not going to lie and be like, oh, I was intrigued by that car. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't, you mean. No, I was kind of. Yeah, 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 like you're not gonna lie and say oh, you yeah, weren't. Oh yeah, exactly. like I can't reach it, but I can't. I know, I know. Okay. Um, so, but I don't know because I feel like Uber like barely existed then, so I'm pretty sure we had to like go to the front desk of the Did of you the see thing. that girl's hair? Yeah. <laughs> I, I feel like we had to wait for a cab. Oh my God. I know. I'm hungry. I know, me too. I hope they have like little finger bites. Fingerlings. Like that. Um, yes, yeah, so that's my shot to Mormont. Sorry, do you have one? Um, I'm pretty sure I just like went there and had a few drinks with my friends. Super normal. Okay. Super normal shit. <laughs> <laughs> Super normal. Nothing else.
crowded in there. It was crowded. It was crowded, but in like a good way. Like it was fun to like see people that we don't see that often. But it was crowded and we both forgot our cameras with the flash. So we didn't get a photo. Oh my god. But we're gonna go get an appetizer. Michard has a date oh. later, so um we're gonna go get an appetizer with no, Claudia. That's absurd. They literally no, that's cut absurd. off the ballet line because there was too many people and they weren't letting more people in, so that's how that's how packed it was in there, but it was cool. I like showing oh. face sometimes. Okay. Yeah, let's oh, like, But I'm not ready. Well no, you're not even home. You're not I'm even not home. even at my home. You're not you're not even home. Um we just went to Soho House. Um, I just went to an event and then to Soho. <laughs> I've never been, guys, but I look like I fucking go every day with this coat. <laughs> but I've never been. And then I'm going on a date now. Michard is going on a date. And I was about to leave and I forgot my receipt, so I'm I'm We're literally going home and going yeah, on a date. It's, and it's late. Like, I don't even want to wash my hair. It's so late. It's <laughs> 7.30 p.m. <laughs> it feels like 10, though, doesn't it? <laughs> it's, it feels, it feels late. It does feel late, though. But it I'm going on a date. Late. And it's like a Wednesday. Like, I'm usually not out this late on a Wednesday. He said, hey, you, should I call shall i shall i call you a car when you're ready shall he said shall. but like he's asking an hour and a half before which yeah. is great which is great. no we love him but um <laughs> but wait should i put this in like the back should i don't I know this? babes maybe <laughs> but they're what gonna, they're not what are you anyway. but wedding but like, is he is is he saying that because he's like ready to pick you up? Or like, I don't think so. I think he's just like being like on top of it. Like he's just like, just so you know, I'm gonna call you a car. But I don't know what to respond. Okay. Like, yes, thank you. Like that doesn't sound like enough. Like, yeah. But like, thank like. <sighs> okay. What do you say? What do you say again? He what do you said, say again? "Hey what do you, say? you, shall I call you a car when you're ready?" Okay. Hey you, <laughs> shall I call you a car when you're ready? Be like. Well, what, well, when are you going to be ready, do you think? What time is Okay, we're going to be I mean, home at 8.06. I mean, if we're going somewhere at 9, then I'll be ready at fucking 8.45. You know? Like, that's when you get ready for a 9 p.m. date, right? Okay. If it were me, which thank God it's not, <laughs> <laughs> I would be like, sounds great. Uh, I'll be ready around 8.45. Thanks. Exclamation point. Smile my face. But to me, that sounds like I'm like, oh, yeah, I get princess treatment all the time. Like, it's not special that you're calling me a girl. Like, I'm not grateful. I literally said thank you. You weren't even gonna say thank you. No, I'm gonna say thank you. You. Okay, so what would you say? I don't know. <laughs> Type it out. Okay. Because you're gonna change it a little bit, I'm sure. <laughs> Type it out. I don't even remember what we said. You don't even know what he said. I know. He said, hey, you question mark. Okay, but I said, that's sweet of you, thank you. That's sweet of you or that's nice of you? That's sweet of you. Sweet mm -hmm. is so, is so cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't need an, yeah. You don't need an Like, also, I'm not gonna say hey, and I'm not gonna say hey, you, so what am I gonna say? Hi. Mm, I said hi last time. Okay, then no we're here. <laughs> thank Completely you. Completely get rid of it. Okay, that's sweet of you, comma, thank you. And then in a separate message, like, cause he, okay. He, I'm a double, I'm a, I'm a, I, I'm I, a, I, I am too. I'm I a am wham too. bam. I am too. Okay. I'm not a paragraph, I'm like, no, doo -doo 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 -doo. I don't like paragraphs, yeah. they make me uncomfortable. Yeah, I'm like, oh, I'm bored after the second second. Yes, yeah. So, mm -hmm. that's sweet of you, comma, thank you. And then okay. the second line, second message is going to be, just on my way home from a work thing. Yep, I'll be ready closer to nine. A Will smiley face, or maybe an exclamation. Well, okay, not like, like a nothing. not an emoji, but like a like an old school smiley, like a boop boop deep. I feel like it needs something. It needs an exclamation or or a little smiley. Just like you're okay, excited. Okay, okay, you're okay. excited. Two, nine smiley. Yep. We'll be ready closer to nine. Yep. Smiley. Perfect. That, okay, that, that, Bye. I mean, how long did that take us? Like nothing, like 10 minutes? <laughs> this thing's been rolling for uh, eight minutes and one second, but we haven't been talking about this the whole time, but most of it. Six minutes. When it this takes girls sub six combined minutes. six minutes to send a message. I just have to know, like in the comments down below, can you <laughs> let me know if this is what also happens to you and your bestie or if we are unwell? <laughs> Let me We're know. just trying to get the best possible outcome. Just let a sister yeah. know. Yeah. Just let a girl really know, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, I know that men do not be doing this. Absolutely not.
Good morning, guys. I'm on my way to go to Paludi's right now. I normally don't go on Thursdays because John works and I don't really like to leave Penelope home, but I kind of forgot that last night when I booked it and it had already been in like, I booked it last night at like midnight and it was already within the hours that I could cancel it without any fees or anything, I think. So I was like, you know what, I'll just go. But I'm very excited to hear about Michard's date. Um, Michard obviously is Michelle. Uh, I'm very excited to hear about it. I think that it went well simply because he seemed normal and she went at like nine and I checked in right before I went to bed around like 11.45 ish. And she texted me back and said, all is well, things are going, things, things are great, things are good. That was hard, that was difficult, that was difficult. I hadn't gone all week, so I think, I think that was, that was the issue. But then again, even when I go three times a week for like, a month straight it never gets easier it just really doesn't so it's okay we're not gonna be too hard on ourselves this year at least we're trying have you ever seen that before um okay i want to show you guys i just got ready filming some things for like valentine's day i just got this shirt from nasty gal and these cute little shorts. It came with the cutest little eye patch. Look at me right now. The eye patch thingy. I'm a little bit hyper right now because I just finished my coof, but came with a little heart eye patch thing and I'm gonna use it because it's so freaking cute. John, will you grab the eye patch, please? It's in the bedroom, on the ground, on, on the um dresser. But that's not even why I'm on here. I want to finish off the vlog and show you guys what I got at the L Space event. I stole so, not stole, but they told me to take them. I stole so many Celsiuses for John that it literally ripped open. Oh, okay, literally how cute is this? It's like a little, it's so cute, I love it. But anyway, I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Should I do a try on? All right, we'll do a quick try on and then that's literally exactly what I wore. This is so cute, babe, look at this. Look how cute this is. It's like, would you rate this though? Um, like, what was the workout set? Yeah, an eight. Like, an eight. Really cute. Yeah. So cute, I love this. I got a small on both. Okay. So cute! I feel like Margot Robbie. This one is really cute. Again, I got this in a size small as well. I love the contrast stitching and the color is really good. They also told me that this comes in black and I was this close to getting that one. More of a Meredith Blake vibe. But I was like, you know what? I'm drawn to the pink right now. Okay. And then I got this cute little number, jumpsuit with the contrast stitching. I believe that this one comes in another color as well. Maybe pink and black, if I'm remembering correctly. But it fits so nice. I know L Space is a little bit pricier but honestly, their quality is so freaking good. It is butter soft. There's no like, I was gonna say there's no stitching, but I mean, there's clearly stitching, but so good. Okay guys, that's the end of this vlog. I feel like I really liked this vlog. I don't know why. I hope that when we watch it back, I feel the same because a lot of times I'm like, oh no, like I have nothing to vlog about, but I feel like this one was good. So. If you guys liked it, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe, follow me on Instagram and on TikTok if you want to. I'm not like, I'm not making you. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, bye.